Hi, Maxine. Oh, hi, Lisa. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, good, Cloudy thank you. How, how are you? <laughs> I'm all right, Pop. It's a bit miserable out there, but I'm all right. Are you, are you in Bassington at the moment? Oh, no, it's freezing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. Yes, yeah, yeah. So you're going to tell me a little bit about, you know, you've gone on, you've got, you're doing your MA now, which is amazing. Um, you're yeah. doing MA in yeah. Falmouth. Um, but before that, you've done yeah. your, you did your degree and you had a, a shop in Felix, so, and you're going to tell me a bit about that. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, after, yeah, kind of after I did my degree, I was like, there's no way I'm going to spend four years studying and, and not to do anything with it. So I found um, a little studio, what I call a studio in a market area, a little start up business. Yeah. So it was kind of um, where I, I set up a, a gallery and, and my studio which was great because I had um, footfall on a Sunday. It was in a market area. And plus it was just, a, it was on the prom. So just a few minutes from the prom. So I had holiday makers and, and, and all sorts of visitors coming in to see me where I worked mm. on a, a commission basis and, and got to show my work. So that yeah, was, it was really good. Yeah, it's quite fruitful, wasn't it? You got some really good commissions. Was that from that shop or was it through other ways? You got like... Um... Um, Boston Borough Council and the Houses of Parliament, Transport for London. Yeah, I mean, I did my, my, my commissions for like Suffolk were more for national and international. Like, I had people coming in and working from, from Suffolk for some of the commissions, but the um, Houses of Parliament was through the um, Eastgate Gallery. Oh. So I, I, I helped manage the Eastgate Gallery for about, I think it must have been about three, three or four years, um, hmm. showed my work up there and, and was on the committee. So after I did my degree, we was lucky enough um, with Finn uh, and Jason to be able to um, do a, a, a Houses of Parliament exhibition, which was a community exhibition, and for the World War um, One um, centenary. Yeah. So that's how we kind of secured that. We worked with John Barron as well, um, but it was it was an amazing opportunity uh, to yeah. be able to show our work in there. And London Underground, a transport for London, I actually worked for them. Um, for probably about 18 years all in all and they Did encourage you? yeah yeah I worked in engineering as, as a AP, like assistant project manager so well 18 years I think all in all yeah. um, and they liked to promote art within the their staff so we had kind of had an exhibition and I was lucky enough to work on a quite a, a huge um, project at Kensington where I did all the artwork um, for the yeah. So as far as I know, it's on show there, which was, it was a great opportunity. Um, and then Basildon Council was through the Baz Arts Index. I think they kind of were looking for an artist to, to work on their art week, which was standing outside basically um, promoting um, fly tipping or the fly tipping in Basildon, how bad it is. So oh, kind right. of it was, it, yeah, yeah, it was, a, it was more of an installation outside the council offices, which was, which was quite fun. Yeah. So yeah, I've done quite a lot since I, I graduated. It's done really um, well. <laughs> you yeah, have to, yeah, it's it's, hard. it's obvious you have to put yourself out there. And that's, oh yeah, that's yeah, what you you've got to. to do. Yeah. Yeah, you have to. You have to just look for every single opportunity that you can. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I'm not. I'm not good at selling myself, to be honest, as a or promoting myself. So it, it's kind of it's hard. As well as doing art, you have to have that business mind as well. You know, I think it has to to go hand in hand which if you're an artist it doesn't come easy I don't I, think no I mean I went on and did books I mean I, I, I finished my degree and yeah I think I waved about with a lot of unconfidence applied for a few things didn't get anything and then I got yeah. um, my books you know I got um, a publisher approached me and I, I, I did my two books but yeah I did a degree yeah, in art yeah. and design Oh, so did you really? I did, yeah. What, that, did you do it at South End? I did two years graphic design at South End, and then my last year oh. I, I did a um, Rittle, and which is a bit more oh, of a wow. wider sort of fine art included, yeah. which was, yes. was good because it was getting a little bit too, for me, too businessy. And as much as I liked learning the digital skills, I didn't like the business focus towards the third year so much. Yeah, I, yeah. I felt it sort of suffocating in a way, sort of strange to, strange yeah. explanation. That's how I yeah. felt. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. No. Um, I was gonna say. Um, so you had there was a, you hit a bit of a wall when it came to the lockdown, and that, that really yeah. made a big difference. 
so yeah yeah it changed everything you know I had to give up my studio um in, in Suffolk it was pointless paying rent um and not being able to make any money that way you know I, I rely on people coming in more than anything so it was kind of like get everyone on my way out work out and literally shut up shop which was heartbreaking at the time really because I years there uh, making you know little business people it was more than just a business because people used to come in and chat you know people that were lonely on a Sunday because I was always open on a Sunday would come in and I, I did art classes and uh, for children and adults and it was a, it was a little community um, venture as well as you know just for me so yeah that's fantastic you li- you were living my dream you know, it was <laughs> Oh, you, 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 you know what it. it felt like it at the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Now, now I'm kind of like after like that's closing. It's like, well, wow, what now? Yeah. Um, it's kind of empty feeling of, of I've no idea where or what I'm going to do next. So just have to wait and see. I think it's difficult times. But then you went on and did and you're doing an MA in Falmouth. Uh, yeah, I'm doing my masters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought I, there's no way I had to replace losing. My little, I call it the lockup, but I had to replace that with something. And I thought I have so much time on my hands. If what will you know? What can I do? And I thought, well, I've always wanted to try illustration. A lot of my artwork is quite illustrative, although my, my background's fine art. Um, I thought, well, I'll give it a go. Um, got accepted, and found, lucky enough, it's it's all online, um, which is is tough because you haven't got them. Tutor, you know, you don't have the tutors at your hand like you do when you're studying in a studio space yeah um but it's 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 really interesting to do something completely different but I'm a bit like you with graphic design it's a little bit suffocating because it's illustration you're being paid by a client to work so you're not actually producing what you like with fine artists and emotional response you produce Mm. a piece of artwork this is more of this is how you're going to do it um, and develop your your visual voice so kind of learning loads but I don't know whether illustration is going to be the way forward for me I'm not sure yeah so do you get to mix with the students at all anyway yeah 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 I mean we've got we've set up a study group I've met probably there's five of us in our study group Mm. um which we were told to do at the beginning and we're all similar age and mature students and stuff with fine art backgrounds so we we kind of meet up on a Monday on zoom yeah um and we, we get one-to-ones with our tutorial with our tutors um, every one or two, two weeks. Um, we, we meet as a group. But everything's online, so you do get to meet people. All, you know, the tutorials are all online. It's just not that face-to-face contact no. that you would get. So hopefully you'll be able to all meet up soon because it's getting a little yeah, bit more, yeah. you know. Yes, yes. It's got to be done, yes. isn't it? <laughs> it has. I mean, there's a few people that... Uh, there's a late a girl in Norwich um, and a couple with about five of us in London around that area. So hopefully we'll once these restrictions and we all feel a bit more comfortable going venturing out of Basildon and our hometowns, we'll we'll meet up. Yeah, I really do like your illustrations about Basildon. I mean, because oh, I wrote you. I wrote two books about um, Basildon history, and so um, yeah. I noticed when I put it on Instagram, one of um, my writer friends liked it as well she's very productive oh really yeah she really likes oh it, so. right oh that's brilliant yeah I mean that that's kind of that's kind of my ambition was to go on the course either to write my own book or illustrate um books and um, that's kind of that was that's what was driving me to do the MA was it was kind of that kind of thing mm, um yeah it's kind of just getting opportunities really yeah you know this is it, and I think as you put, you've proven yourself, you've got to put yourself out there to get the opportunities, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you've done brilliant with your book. I love your books. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I mean, the the work that must have gone into them, you know. It's a different side yeah, of my brain. It's like I've got the art yeah. side, but then I have to go switch to yeah. the other side of myself to do the that sort of research, and it's got to yeah. be everything's got to be dead right. You've got to make sure it's absolutely accurate, you know. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's kind of like because we were looking at um, in, we were just looking at uh, polymath, which is a, a way of thinking where you, you, you're kind of an artist, but you've got to have that research background. And mm. because of the way art is, because it's so digital, um, you need to be able to work in different areas like research or you know working for local government and, and just doing everything as well as art and illustration and graphic design. 
it's not yeah. just about drawing and painting anymore you know if you want to get on that is uh, you know you want to be productive I suppose yeah wow. uh, so yeah it's quite um I'm learning loads yeah, that's good. <laughs> so that's good yeah so what do you think the way forward is you said you're not sure if it will be illustration what do you think your way forward will be I don't know I mean I'm getting I'm still working I'm getting commissions through strangely enough I've got a small exhibition coming up at the end of June in Suffolk um, and, and people are contacting me for, ex for, for commissions so I, I don't really I don't really know I mean ideally I'd love my own, my own space um, and there's opportunities that looks like there's opportunities coming up in Basildon so you never yeah. know fingers crossed um, things might happen yeah. here which would be brilliant I think you're seeing software. things going on from this weekend, isn't there? There's, uh, you know, all the artists in the shops at the moment, which is great. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've not been down yet. I'm not kind of been part of that, the, um, that, that kind of what's going on, which I, I should really be. Um, but what, Baz Arts Index is, is brilliant for us. So mm, at the moment, yeah. we've kind of got that on our side. So, yeah. which is, it's, it's been brilliant. Do you want to show any art? Do you want to sort of make this a visual and show some art on here as well? Or? Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. got some bits to show you. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, I can show you a commission that I'm kind of working on at the moment, sure. which is completely different to, to what I, I usually do. Yeah. But I don't know if you can... Well, I can see half this it. Way. Yeah, that's... Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's um, quite random, really. It's a bit sinister, but it's kind of... It, it's quite interesting to do something like that rather than... You know, it's just a change more than anything. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I think you can see it. Can you me? tell me anything about it, or is it a little bit? You've got to keep it quiet. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's well, it's it's actually a it's it's it's, for, it's a birthday present for for this guy Tom here. Um, they were two the guys went travelling around Australia and and Thailand, so it was a night out. Um, so I've got a photograph I'm working from. Uh, and it's, it is they're, they're all dressed up in fancy dress so they, they went out clubbing so I'm kind of, I want to try and get that feeling where they're all they're all like quite close together so they're all hugging each other yeah so although it's quite sinister and they're dressed up I still want to grab that like the three best mate thing you know yeah so kind of wow. that's my my intention it's really um, it's cool with, it's quite um, with that I'm not saying gothic but it's quite yeah, it's intense. It kind of feels a bit, yeah, it's, it feels, it's got a lot of tension in there and it's quite, mm. I think it's quite intense and, and quite sinister and also quite gothic -y, which is mm. completely different to what, what I'm used to doing at the moment, you know. Yeah. Um, and then I, like, I kind of do like these small illustrations, which is like Basildon. Yeah. It's fabulous. It's, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just, I feel, this is I feel like, like there's a book. Some, for someone, there's a book. There's a book yeah. about, about Bassett. Yeah, yeah, you know? uh, yeah. And that's that's kind of like my that that's my thinking is, is mm. in a way. I don't know whether um my writing skills aren't quite there. Um, I struggle with the academic side, but no. I, you know, with studying as well. But the drawing side, if I could, you know. If you're if you are still based in Bassett, then there's a um, Bassett writing group, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, so there you, is. Maybe to join them, yeah. you know. Yeah, um, yeah. Dawn, um, there's a lady called Dawn. I can't remember her last name, but she's very prolific, and um, she's a member of that, and she's very impressed yeah. with what I see from her. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind I of think, looking for that that opportunity, you know. I kind of got approached last year to do um, something from Felix Doe. Um, but the lady went on, she went, she went on to do, she wanted me to do all the drawings, but she didn't, she wanted to take copyright as well. And I felt a little bit at the time before studying, I wasn't sure whether I should just hand over all my drawings, you know? No. So there was a little bit of, you know, it was a children's book and it, 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 it wasn't for definite. She was funding it herself. It was a difficult situation, but mm. the idea is there to, to possibly do a book, which would be yeah. brilliant, you know, yeah. to illustrate it, book. There's a lot of uh, things out there to give you advice for sort of like copyright for images. Yeah, yeah, There's lots of things yeah, um, yeah. to sort of join and, you know, yeah, find yeah. out about. So, yeah, I don't yeah, blame you. Yeah. Just be cautious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, um, but no, I think, and I've, I've just recently, this is the five wells in Basildon, actually. I just did this. Um, I don't know whether you can see it, but you know the five wells over at Langdon? I think it's it's one of the five wells. It's over at Langdon, at One Tree Hill. Yeah, there's a um, van, van something well, isn't there? I should know about this. Yeah, it in my yeah. book, And I recognise it from my book as well. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. So I kind of yeah. So it's there's a story behind that because of well, it's kind of I've illustrated the story behind it about the 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 um, it used to be a well where they used to the medical people used to well he tried to sell loads of water from it to make money but there was a, a mental health um, place above it and they used to come down to the well and to drink from it because it thought that they would make him better there's a lot of children involved so I kind of illustrated oh, that yes. within that drawing so yeah. I'm kind of getting there to illustrate a story within yeah. one image um, so it's you know it's kind of finding different ways of working as well that I'm not used to pushing myself out of my comfort zone um, yeah. which I think you need to do yeah, definitely. And I've also done a kind of been part of a little scene as well. Um, oh, right. My artwork's in that for Falmouth. So it's like our online, everybody that's on the course, we're all a couple of images in there that we did, um, which is quite collage type thing there. Yeah. You know, it's all just working in different mediums and different ways, I think is really important. Yeah, definitely. You know. oh, fabulous. Yes. Anything else you want to talk about? <laughs> Um, I'm kind of interested in, in, in what you, how you come about doing your book to be I know it's about you but I find it really interesting how you come about I mean, why you want a book for Basil Durden well um well I lived in Whitford at the time and I was a researcher for the Basildon Heritage Trail and um I put together a blog with information I gathered um my own sort of research I actually was very lucky to, um, to come up They, I went to Basildon Library and they had a box at the back of the library with a lot of stuff in it. Um, and yeah, some of it was Jessie K. Payne, you know, some, some prints of, you know, things that she'd done already. But there was also stuff from the, um, yeah. you know, the the corporate company that literally bought, bought up all houses at cheap prices. And I, I can't remember now, Basildon something yes. like that. Anyway, there's yeah, a lot of sort of uh, pages of that as well and I just put this blog together left it on there went off and did my my degree my access course my degree and then they got in touch with me I think at the time I think they, yeah. they, they approached Ken Porter and he was busy that year oh yeah I know Ken. yeah and yeah. so they um someone pointed them in my direction I think and I don't know who and they yeah. read my blog and they yeah. approached me and um I did the per the lady who was the editor was fabulous. Literally held my hand first of all and uh, helped me. Yeah, I yeah. Thought, actually, to be honest with you, I never done anything like this. In the first month, I was sort of pinching myself, believing, trying to believe it was true, and I didn't, it didn't do anything for about yeah, a month. Yeah, yeah. And then I did. I started getting on with yeah. it. Um So yeah. yeah, and then I did second book in two thousand nineteen, and um, yeah, yeah. I, I sort of, you know, I do love. What I do enjoy from it is, I mean, obviously the research is interesting, but meeting the people and hearing their their history, yeah. I love doing that. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah, because Basildon's got it's unbelievable the amount of history that Basildon has. You know, and the man, you know, the people are so passionate. There's some really passionate people about Basildon. You know, definitely, yeah, yeah, definitely. There's one lady, Geraldine Evans, who um, her family ran the bar for 70 years. And I think she's willing oh, to yeah, have, yeah. Hopefully have a chat like this with her come, um, in the next, oh, that'd be the, brilliant. next month or so. So, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. No, that, that's brilliant. So it was lovely yeah, talking to fun. you. And um, unless you, and you, you want to talk about anything else, but um, I will talk to you soon. Thanks for thanks for talking yeah, oh, to me. Yeah, that's brilliant. Thanks, Lisa. It's lovely okay. to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Bye. a lot. Bye. Bye.